Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 39 of Darwell20's Let's Play series where today I'm getting ready to do some stuff. Uh, so I've got attribute filters, I've got list filters. I think I want another list filter if you don't mind. I don't think I need attribute filters for this. Uh, I'm prepping for this automation that we need to do. So last episode we started looking at making a rocket and it's gonna be a lot of work. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a majority of it off, like the boring stuff will be off camera, right? Like, so I wanna do on camera all the fun building stuff, get it all working, and then like off camera automation, right? Just let it run. Uh, so the gist is we're gonna need a bunch of stuff. Okay, like no joke, a bunch of stuff. So um, luckily I have lots more iron, it's cool. Looking good. Um, I'm probably gonna want a lot of aluminum if I'm not mistaken here. So you should be cooking up a bunch of aluminum grit for me. Great, okay. Uh, I wouldn't mind this being like underground-y, so I might move it a little bit, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a way we could make that exist underground more so. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, so the gist is this, right? I want... I want to do this thing. Uh, let's get, like, the first one set up, right? So we're going to need some uh, space plating. We're going to need some polyethylene. And then we're going to want steel sheet metal. And what I'm going to want to do is set up a, a, a filter... Um, for the space plating blocks, okay? So we've got some space plating, okay? Uh, do we have a hopper? Do we have a hopper? That would be cool to have, okay? You're gonna chill right there, Mr. Hopper, okay? And then you're gonna get a chest to sit on top of you. Cool, and that's where uh, the base plating will go. Now for steel sheet metal, we are gonna need a lot of steel ingots, aren't we? Yep. Gonna need all kinds of stuff. I should like be automating the blast furnace. Can I get like the better blast furnace? And like the reinforced would be better to have, right? Um, yeah, totally, totally could be doing that. Just a little bit of steel sheets, right? Um, wouldn't a reinforced blast furnace be better? Now that'll get me the arc furnace, right? Is there, isn't there like a reinforced? Isn't there a reinforced multi-block? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Um, let's, let's, let's consider this, because I feel like we're going to need more, right? So we're just going to need another hopper. In fact, let me steal you guys for a sec. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this thing's not too bad. Okay. And then you guys are with me. And then I guess I could keep it. I, I might just do it like this, just to have a little bit more space. Though in fairness, I do kind of like being able to access it from the other side. So if I put it all here, I can't do that, can I? The other thing is, I think it spits out the back, doesn't it? I feel like it does. I feel like it does. Where's my engineer's hammer? I can never find this thing. I can never find this thing. I'm always looking for it. I can never find it. Engineer's hammer, where are you at? Why, why am I having so much trouble finding it? There you are. Boop. Sweet. All right, yeah, so he's going to spit out the back there. That's probably not ideal. What we're going to want is a chest. Because I'm pretty sure that's the auto output side, right? Like it spits out the back there. I 
feel like that's probably the better route to go, right? Ooh, preheaters left and right. Look at that. That's a new little UI. That's pretty fancy looking. Okay, you here. A little bit more cold coke, please. And a little bit more iron, please. It, it is faster even without, right, without the preheaters. I think. I don't know. Um, and we could throw preheaters on that thing. Oh, look at that. Nice. Fancy. We could throw preheaters. Is that bad? Nah, it's not bad. External heater? Not terrible. Only thing is we'd have to get power over here. It's kind of a long way to run the wiring, but not impossibly long. How's my amethyst doing, by the way? Not bad. Look at that. Got our amethyst shards. That's cool. We're gonna have to... I'll do more with that in a bit. But just wanted this thing to be a little bit better. So, like, you are spitting out the back, right? You put your slag there. Okay, so you don't do the steel, but you do do the slag at least. That's cool. Um, I might make that a void drawer. We'll see. So anyway, uh, where was I? I was doing things right. I was getting aluminum. Hey, I closed that. Get some aluminum plating here. Cool. Okay. So now you're ready to go with the space plating. We need a lot of polyethylene, which as we remember is latex and liquid ethylene, which is ethanol and sulfur dust. Okay. So we're going to want a lot of sulfur dust. Okay. So you finish up with your, you know, I'm good with that for now. You go there, your aluminum is done. You do your thing, you can go away, you can go away and smart shoot, you've got a job in a minute, don't worry. I got, I got something for you, smart shoot. Hoping smart shoot can sit here, but we'll find out. That should be cool. Yeah, I like that. Hey, this is a pretty nice place. I think I might stick around. Sure, you're welcome to stay inside the occultism system. Stay inside that dimensional storage, buddy. Okay, so polyethylene. We're going to want, like, a lot of this, right? Because what we calculated is we're going to need, like, 100-ish buckets. Am I right in remembering that number? Right, because we needed about 200 of these, and we said it's going to be about... a. A bucket equals two. So we're going to need like 100 buckets. So we're going to need a lot, right? So uh, let's get our polyethylene going. So that's going to be a lot of ethanol, um, which I'm kind of hoping we have enough of. We should probably go down here. It's been a while since I've even checked in on this buddy. Um, he's probably dead. Yep. That's not a huge surprise to me. Somebody said, by the way, if I use, like, not mechanical harvesters, but, like, the other kind of thing, it would be, uh, it would chop down all the sugarcane. The one they use for trees. That could be true. That could be true. How are we on ethanol? Not, not, a, not terrible, but also not amazing. Also, I backstuffed the peat. So that this thing wouldn't kind of like run forever. So like this dude, when he backstuffs, I put a I put an iron downgrade. Did I do that on camera? I don't know. But that way he backstuffs, and then we don't waste energy here, like just building up a stupid amount of mushrooms, right? So you're doing a bunch of sugar. Um, I can probably come up with a better way to get that a little bit faster if I needed to, but we'll get there. For now, you're cool, right? And we can't speed upgrade this. Am I right in remembering that? Max upgrades, volume upgrade. Yeah, we can't really speed upgrade him, and like his pressure, his temperature has to be within the range. So like getting him hotter is not going to be a is not going to be a win in any way. But that's okay. So let's get a bunch of ethanol, which wow, we are kind of a little bit low on. Okay, 
Uh, and then Sulfur Dust. Am I remembering this correctly? Ethanol and Sulfur Dust, and you have to be above 227. So then I will get you for you. And that should easily get above 227. And then bing, bang, boom. Lots of stuff, right? And that, I think, pushes to the top, which is fine. And then we'll get a healthy amount of liquid ethylene that we will send over here uh, with latex, which we're good on, right, uh, to get that going. But let's just get, like, a number for now, and then we'll get... We're not getting acetylhydrate right now. We're getting poly whatever ish right now. We'll let you guys all hang out together. Okay, so that's your liquid ethylene. That's your latex. And then I want you to output to the right there. Now I will need to get more uh, ethanol going a little bit faster. But it shouldn't be too bad. We can we can make that happen, right? I think we can make that happen. Okay, so that's two buckets worth. That's enough to get us going a little bit at least. Okay, and that tank is gonna sit right. Whoop. Yep, there we go. Polyethylene into there, boom, ready to go. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our steel sheet metal. Okay, and I'm just gonna do one. Okay, that I forgot to set rotation on those things. That's on me. Yep, nope, that's me being a smart, smart direwolf. Uh, I need you guys to spin. Can you please spin for me? That would be awesome. There you are. You go away. You don't need... There you go. A little rotational help. Let's try that again. Boop. Beep. Boop. Bump. Okay. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Perfect. I needed my first base plating block. And the reason I needed that is to set my filters. Okay? So you're going to be a filter allow list. Check. You're going to be a filter deny list. Check. And you're going to allow that in. And then we're going to have a shoot down here with the deny list set. Right? So you're not allowed to accept those. So anything that's not that goes in here. And you're going to wind up going into a barrel. Okay, and your job will be to go basic logistics transportering. Just remember not to let that connect. To that. How's that sound? Cool. Okay, so that's how that's gonna work. Okay, so now anything that is not a fully made one will route back here and become better, right? So let's get a little bit more space plating. Um, we're gonna need you, and then we're gonna need copper plates and uh, it's steel plates, right? Copper plates and steel plates, yes. Which is why I know I'm going to need a lot more steel. So let's just get eight of those steel. You. And all of them. We'll start with the eight and then we'll get... I want to like get the automation going on camera. And then there'll probably be a big, like, let's get this all knocked out pretty quickly kind of deal. 
You guys are cooking your polyethylene, doing a great job. Very proud of you. Definitely going to need more ethanol, though. That's 100% going to be a thing. And you should be done with this, which means you can come over here and do that. And you're running. Sweet. Do we have any more speed upgrades? We do. I can make this a little bit faster. Should be fine. Just die or being impatient, don't mind me. Okay, so now let's test out our automation. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that you've got plenty of space plating. Okay, and then we're gonna set one of these in here and watch what happens. Aha! Aha! Not too shabby. And remember, we can absolutely do like multiple at a time. I just don't quite have enough space plating to make that happen. Um, but well, I mean, I have enough ish. Should be fine. All right? So we can do that. All right? And now it's doing two at a time. All right? Now the, the 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 one that is almost done should now complete and go into the correct chute. See? See? It went in there. Cool. Awesome, right? So now it's literally just put the sheet metal in here, make sure you have enough of the stuff, and you're good to go. I think that sounds cool. Are we for copper? We could probably use more copper. Would you mind getting to work, sir? Use some of that, too. So you've got more sulfur dust, which is nice. I'd like you to stamp up some more copper. And some more aluminum. Cool. All right, so that's that's the play. Like, that's it. We're done. Like, it's, it's pretty much automated and good to go. Now all we need is just to make sure we have a lot more ethanol, um, which, you know, we're getting there. We already have to, like, two more buckets. Uh, maybe a little sugarcane augmenting. Well, we don't have that much, to be honest with you. Um, I'm sure I could come up with a way to make sugarcane grow faster here, right? I feel like a sneaky trick I could come up with for, like, way more sugarcane. So I can sift it. I could garden close it. It's not going to be that much faster than what I currently have, though, right? It's also going to require a little bit of power, but only a little bit. I set up a garden cloche down here. I wonder if that would be better than this whole create contraption. Because then it would, like, run as long as we have power. Why don't we, why don't we grab our, our garden cloche that we... Can I make another garden cloche? I mean, yes. Right? Are you done stamping, by the way? You are? Hey, Squishy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And how are you doing? You're getting there. Where's those aluminum dudes? So I've got the 64 of you, the 64 of you. I've got 56. Five, six, seven, eight, done. Actually, you know what? Give me that back. I want a whole stack going. All right, now we've got a full stack of aluminum, copper, and steel. That'll all pop while I'm taking care of my glass for another garden cloche. Messy, 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 direwolf. But there we go, garden cloche. You think I could run my uh, my wires down there in any kind of, like, intelligible way? How do we feel about that? <laughs> There's still a bunny jumping around. Hey, bunny. Um, so, like, what if we did... I want to I wanna put it in a spot that, like, won't be horrible. Uh, let's do... Let's get our MV. I suspect we're going to need, like... Yeah. Uh, and you're just, like... 
tough fabric, which is industrial hemp. Eh, that's right, I need some more of that. I didn't, I didn't ever make that, but that's okay. We can make this work. I could run MV coil, right? And that would be fine. So if I got another batch of you, and another batch of you. Oh, really? I didn't make that much. Yeah, that's all right. I don't really need that much more of that. Um, how do we feel about um, a shovel? Would that be cool? Nope. Would that be cool? Nope. Do you think you could go like right here by chance? <clears throat> nope, 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 nope. Dyer, why don't you play more with immersive engineering? They ask. So you're still cool? You're not going to get all grumpy that that's there? Okay, cool. Okay, good. I don't know what the range on that wire is, by the way. Um, I might need to go brooming it up. Okay. Um... So like, what are the chances that this can reach this far? I have no idea. We're going to find out. Speaking of, yeah, we're good. Does it tell me what the range is if I go too far? Uh, it's definitely red. Am I still like up and running here? There we go. Let's say here. 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 Is that cool? And then you could connect to a garden cloche, which I would put here. Right? If I set up the garden cloche here, would he auto output to the back? Would that be cool? Maybe? So we would want an aqueous accumulator, right? Uh, with a pipe. Boop, boop. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I happen to have an infinite water source down here. I actually already have an aqueous accumulator. I should just run you over there, shouldn't I? I really should. That would be the smart way to go, wouldn't it? You're even, like, in the same line. Look at how great that is, huh? So we'll just save our aqueous accumulator. And what we'll do is we'll make sure, first off, that these pipes don't connect, because that would probably be a problem, right? Yep, aqueous accumulator. So what we would want to do is make sure that you are connection type none, so that my basic mechanical pipe, who is now pulling water, 
There you go, water. Sweet. Okay. And then sugar cane. And you go into a garden cloche with any kind of sand. And we could even throw some bone meal in there if we wanted to be a little bit faster. And now you just need your power. And what I'm going to do is actually two things. I'm going to say you can also get the power. Is that cool? You think you can reach? Might be a little zappy, but that's okay. That works, right? So now you're getting juice, and you're getting juice, and we don't need a peat generator anymore. I like that. Is that cool? I like it. Okay, so now with you all set up and working... Ow, ow, ow. Told you, a little zappy. A little zappy. Now with you all working... You basically, I'm not going to like dismantle this because there's no reason to, right? Like, we're just augmenting how much sugar cane we get. Oh, you don't auto eject? What in the what just happened? Oh, the chest moved. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, no, duh. It was like, where'd, where'd my chest go? That chest that's automated to move. You are going to spit it. Yeah, good. He does spit into the back. Cool. All right, so that just like, so that does two things. One, it makes it like have just a little bit more sugar cane, but also when this thing dies because like he is not perfect um you know that that's 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 fine right um i think that 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 just like adds to it but also makes it infinite um now the other thing i could do is dismantle this and do that motor thing what was that motor thing the only problem is um i assume that unlike this dude he's gonna like draw power all the time and that seems like a giant waste of electricity for me right now so i'll leave this as is um and then just come down and repair him every now and then but at least the garden cloche is gonna like he seems he seems to go pretty quick does it tell me in any way shape or form garden cloche yeah it doesn't really tell you what like the duration or how long it takes but i mean like he's going should be cool could always put more down here if i needed to Oh, yeah. All right. So you can see him growing. So that's kind of cool. How fast until he's like... He moves pretty quick, actually. Do we have the fertilizer, the growth amount? Once this fertilizer amount disappears, I think that growth modifier will increase. And then it'll be even faster. That's what I get for not having the, uh, the bone meal in there in the beginning. Yeah, that's not bad. That is definitely faster, I think, than what we had before. All right, so let's home it up. Cool. So you guys can go away, wires and stuff. And then that just makes things more automated down there. So that's just an improvement over what we had before. Yeah, I think so. All right, so now for you, ethanol. What are we at? We have 100 in there? I hate that number. It's the worst number ever, but that's okay. We'll make it work. 3850. I'd like you to be 3900. Could you be 3900 for me? I don't know what. Eh, you went 3950. That's also a bad number. There you go. Cruising. Okay. Uh, and then you should have my space material. So now you're going to go over here and do that. And you've got a lot of polyethylene. So it's really not that bad if you think about it. Okay. Not bad at all, really. Really, really not. So you guys laser that stuff up. So we are going to need, like, a lot, but that's what Between Episodes is going to be all about, is making way more of this. And I might, I might do my preheaters. Should we do the preheaters? I feel like this would be way faster if I did preheaters. That might be smart. 
Um, because all I need is two of these. One, two. We're gonna need more copper anyway. One, two, one, two. And these guys go here. Nope. They go there? I don't think so, do they? Is that where they go? Maybe. So does it mean I have to move you? I can move you. put you here how's that sound in fact like I don't even need this anymore I really don't right because like I'm not making coal coke in this thing anymore at all right so yeah do we want to run some power poles like all the way over here I might so what I would need is MV wire relays do we have I, I probably should get right you go in there and give me a nice simple oak drawer yeah and that should be cool I think so I think that's a plan and then you can do that and we'll have hemp fibers for not too far from now Some rustling. There's that rustling noise in the back. You think you can go all the way over here and that would be super cool of you? Yeah. Got you, goat. You got nothing on the dire. Nothing. Like, I don't see a reason I couldn't do this, right? That would be cool. Nope, you don't like that. Um, so what if I put you just a block higher? You might be cool. You know what? I could put it here. Bet that would work. Just getting creative with wiring. Don't mind me. Just try not to zap yourself, Dyer. I'm so gonna zap myself, but that's okay. Once I get once I get some hemp fibers, I'll replace these with. non-zappy kinds. See? Zapped. Yep, I know. It hurts. MV wire coil. Just need some electrum. This should be enough. Think you'll reach all the way over here? Yep. And then you guys just need some wire connectors. Ow. It does hurt. Actually hurts quite a bit. Right? Now why are you still like Maybe I have to put the actual iron in there first before that goes and changes color. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. That's faster. That's a lot faster. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. That's super cool. And I think the front is the output on this. Am I remembering that correctly? Yep. And I'm pretty sure the top is the input. So if I made you the input, and I made you do that, and I made you do that, and you do that, and you do that. Then in the chest, I hope this auto hoppers. I mean, there's a hopper up there, so it should auto hopper, right? No, no, it's not going to. It's not going to. You should pull from above. 
because the block there is a hopper. Just saying. But if I replaced you with a hopper, that would work too. Uh, let me have to do all this again. Not the end of the world. Killing me, Smalls. Killing me! There you go. And what I'm going to do is mute the preheaters. No need for that noise. Right? And now you can accept... And that's cool, right? Do you also accept cold coke up there? I don't know. Probably not. Oh yeah, you do. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. I'll take that. And then a little bit more iron. And that should go a long way to getting me lots of steel, fully automated, and way faster. Cool. All right, I think it's wrapping up point. So you guys got the gist of what we're going to do here, right? We're going to get some uh, some more steel sheet metal. And we're going to do something like that. Okay. And then we're going to do this. And we're going to do this cool and that's fully automated and good to go when we come back next episode i'll have a bunch of this stuff this space plating stuff and we can start building our rocket sound like a plan for now Delta, i'll sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode take it easy